Hey guys, welcome to the Top 5 Worst VR Games, aka some of the most horrendous pieces of crap. So this is a follow up to my uh, top 10 best VR games and I would recommend you watch that video, but there are some really good games on that list. And there's some really bad games on this list. So I'm doing top 5 instead of top 10 because if I were to do more than top 5, the, the first five games wouldn't even be bad. They would actually be pretty decent because I don't really own that much bad VR games. So, uh, yeah. Now, unlike the best VR games uh, video, I'm going to have some uh, rules. Well, other than the, you know, like, uh, the, 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 like, the, you know, the fact that it's bad games instead of, you know, good games. So, yeah, basically, here's some rules. I am not including demos, so I'm not including Horror Adventure VR demo or Horror Adventure Zombie Edition VR because those are demos and I'm not buying the full game and actually, you know, like, playing the game. So, uh, yeah, technically, if they did count, they'd probably go on this list, but, you know, these are f full games that I have played. And, uh, again, like the, what I said in the other video, these are my opinions. And these are PS4 VR1 games, so no quest or something like that, so no Blade and Sorcery. Except I've played Blade and Sorcery for like two hours before, and I thought it was pretty good. So, uh, yeah, better than Swordsman VR, which is a very good accomplishment. So, uh, yeah, and again, uh, another rule is, uh, yeah, and yeah, uh, games I, so there might be worse games, like, I don't know, maybe on West or some, like, horrendous piece of crap, but, you know, there might be worse, but, you know, these are games I could've done, I could've got up with. So anyways, um, uh, more games on this list I haven't played, so there's, like, two games on this list I haven't played, I, I wish I didn't load up my save with this. So yeah, another rule I can think of is, uh, is, uh, hmm. Yeah, that yeah, that's really the only rule that's uh, different from the other thingy. So yeah, just the same as the last thingy, but no demos or anything. Which I mean, there was no demos on the the thing, the other video, anyway. So you know. So let's just dive into the mid, the bad, and just the horrendous pieces of crap that is these games. So let's just get into the garbage. Ah! Well, welcome to the walking crap onslaught. So, for being the first game on this list, it got quite a few. Uh, it doesn't got a lot of cons, but it also don't got a lot of pros either. So, uh, yeah, basically how I describe it is uh, decent mid. That's basically the quality of it. Yeah, decent mid. So the pros, gameplay slash combat is fun. Major pro. The story is fine, just pretty forgettable. Minor pro. Zombie design is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty. I mean, it's just the show design, so you know. Minor pro. Killing zombies is pretty satisfying, like you know, cutting off their head. Minor pro. Weapon variety is pretty decent. The music is okay. Minor pro. It's minor because you know it's only okay. The campaign is pretty decent and fun. You know, it's something. Also, what what I meant by decent slash to mid is like. It's in between those two. It's in between decent and mid. So, uh, yeah. So, to the counts. So, yeah. Voice acting kind of sucks. Only a minor con. Some cars are dull. Minor con. I don't really care about graphics too much. The graph. The, all of the characters are just boring. Pretty much no replay value. No point to really replay the game unless you want to have fun. But, you know. Some scavenge runs take forever. Minor con. It's way too easy. That's probably the most major con. It is like, there is no difficulty to this game. So, uh, yeah. Basically, another thing I like about this game is I kind of like the, you know, the, you know, like what you're seeing on in the footage. What? Those little, like, the environmental stuff. I kind of like that. Also, a con I forgot to mention was, uh, every place feels so similar. Like, everywhere feels like the same exact place. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, and that's nice. Uh, I guess another thing I like is the upgrade system. That's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I can think. 
overall, The Walking Dead Onslaught is a decent, in between decent and mid game. And yeah, you, you, I would recommend it if it goes on sale for a little bit. So to the next game. Okay, so hey, welcome to number four, uh, Rashi Castles of Sin. So anyways, uh, for being number four again, some pros, some cons. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, let's get into the pros. Sort of fun gameplay combat slash combat. Uh, keyword sort of. Cute doggy lol. Minor pro. Pretty good lining. Minor pro. Some challenging diff. And some pretty cool cutscenes. Minor pro. Yeah, a lot of these are minor. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I also kind of like, uh, the katanas. I like those katanas. Uh, I mean, they're pretty fun to use. And, uh, yeah. I need you to know that I haven't, like, played a lot of this game. So, a lot of this might be dated in a few, like, months or something. So, uh, yeah. I need you to know that. Anyway, so, let's get on to the coins. If they would appear. The coins. Anyways, graphics are not great. I know I said the lining wasn't was good, but like the graphics and lighting is different. Minor con, sort of boring sometimes. AI is dumb. I mean, it's a sky dance game. Of course, it is gonna be dumb. Not really much to do. I mean, I guess they didn't develop it, but like they still published it. I'm pretty sure. So, not really much to do. No language sentence. Very minor con. That's why I put the very. Not much weapon variety. Or at least I think there is. Plus, I also heard from a uh, few things I don't really like about the game. I heard that from some game reviews that freaking the bosses were boring and generic. Uh, I heard that I, from the footage I've seen of, uh, past the moments in the game I was in, and uh, are kind of just uh, kind of just uh, freaking like just there's like almost no enemy weapon variety from what I know. I think, I don't know. So anyways, to the next game. I might record this game, by the way. So, welcome to number three. DWVR. So this is a game where you kill people. It's a, it's a wave shooter. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So anyways, yeah, that's about it. Anyways, yeah, that's all you need to know. <laughs> pros. Let's get to the pros. Sometimes fun. Uh, yeah, it's kind of fun sometimes, uh, keyboard sometimes. Decent amount of weapons and satisfying kills. Minor pro. That's it, by the way. That's all I put down. I guess if I had to say, maybe I... The graphics are... F I think the graphics are decent as well. Uh, that's a very minor con, by the way. Or very minor pro, I meant. Anyways, let's just get into the cons. For number three, it's, uh... We're starting to get to where the cons are starting to outbalance the pros. Anyways, cons. Janky controls. Not much amenities. Yeah, there's not much amine. Or from what I know, there's not much amenities. Not much to do overall. And overall, very, very janky. Major con. Kind of expensive. Very minor con. Which is, I put very because I really had nothing to do with the actual quality of the game but I still put it down because well you know and uh, another a few uh, other problems I might have with it is that uh, it's some uh, it, more often than not it's pretty boring and uh, why was I trying to shoot myself um, uh, another thing I don't really like is that the turning is also janky, but like, I mean, I already said that the game is overall janky. And again, I don't know if there's much enemies. I don't know if there's actually a lot more enemies than, than I thought, but uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I kind of trashed on this game more than I thought it was going to be, so yeah. So overall, just bad game. Don't get it. Uh, yeah. It's way too expensive to justify it. Maybe get it when it's like, I don't know, $10. And, uh, yeah. I might record this game as well like I would at Rashi Castle of Sin. Just for like a quick, uh, this game sucks video. Okay, to the next one. So we're now in number two. Deadland VR. So for being number two, this game sucks. So anyways, Deadland VR sucks. And that's all you need to know. There's no, there's, there's literally no story. 
So anyways, let's get to the very few pros. Uh, pros. Oddly fun major pro. Great amount of weapons, and that's all I put down. There's only two. And, uh, I also, uh, god dang, that submachine gun is messing me up. Uh, I think the axe is also pretty cool to use, but that's a very minor pro because, like, it's just a weapon, who cares? So, uh, yeah. And that's the only other thing I can add. And, uh, yeah. See, for being number two, not much I like. Cons. Terrible graphics, terrible sounds, literally just a mobile game, terrible designs overall, buggy sometimes, no move support, overall goofy this and janky. Uh, I put them all at the same time because I have like zero time left. Also, I didn't put a weird line on those songs, that's, oops. So anyways, a few other things I don't like is, uh, map design. I absolutely hate the map design. Uh, I like the concept of this game though, but, I mean, whatever. So, thanks for watching, alright, let's get into the next game. So we're in the final, last, horrible game. So let's see what atrocious mess this is. Ah, oh, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, this game used to be great. Now I hate it. Or at least the previous game. Oh, uh, what happened though? Like, I want to know. So anyways, pros. Fun gameplay. New content. And better combat than chapter one that's the only thing better than chapter one the other two things uh well other than new content and the fun gameplay is the same in chapter one actually it's worse it's less fun in this game chapter one is funner because it has the trial uh, also this clip is very long for some reason or well not that long but like compared to the other clips this is long I, that's because i got a lot to say <laughs> so anyways now let's get into the long Long list of cones. And I also added a bonus one. But you'll you'll just have to figure out what that is. Cons. Notice how I made it smaller. Just a DLC, lol. Awful story, forgettable, or not very fleshed out characters. Yeah, bugs! Literally no replay value. Bad lighting, minor con. No trial. Mm, bad villains. A bunch of underlivered or cook undercooked stuff. Major con. Bad performance. And also, again, this is less fun than Chapter 1, so Chapter 1 is, for some reason, less f or funner. And, uh, yeah. EVEN MORE CONS! A uh, somehow better launch than now. Literally no support from the devs, minor con, because overall missed potential, and overall immense disappointment. And, uh, yeah. Also, uh, another thing I th that this game sucks at is, uh, actually expanded in the story because like uh, like nothing is expanded in this game the story is a little bit but that story sucks so like who cares yeah, like and there are some new items and stuff but you whatever so here's the new thing i added comparisons to chapter one these are cons but like whatever uh yeah i'm still at them weird grab animations chapter one was actually natural looking and what i mean by that is like your hand will clip through something no gunshine anymore for s some reasons Overall, worse graphics, and overall, just a bunch of weird changes. Like, the character models look very weird for some reason. Like, the normal NPCs that, like, the normal random NPCs look normal still, but, like, uh, their eyes are a little low quality, like, and, and the main NPCs look, like, different from the first game. I don't know how to put my hand on it, but they, it just doesn't look natural. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, add more f flame into the fire, this, the, like, 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 everything else, ev like, there's just a lot of etc. I can't speak enough. Just, just go watch some Staticus video, he goes a lot more depth into that. Uh, Substatic, or not Substaticus, Nutty, uh, Yak, whatever his name is, t two caps. Basically, it's called, My Thoughts on Retribution, and then, uh, a parentheses or whatever it is, not in parentheses. No the weird, you know what symbol I'm talking about? It's the symbol I'm gonna use on the title of this video. Uh, my, it's bad. That's basically what the video is called. Okay, anyway, so, uh, that was the final game, and let's get into my final thoughts. What once was a great game, Siri thing. <laughs> oh my god! The nightmare is finally over. 
The nightmare. It's finally over. Finally. The bad games are finally over with. So anyways, overall, those games were pretty bad. You know. So anyways, for the fifth place, we got the walking trap on slot. It's, it's a pretty fun, and it's pretty alright in some aspects, but, you know, has some pretty bad stuff. You know, it's the least bad one, though. Uh, it's like the, it's the close, it's like, it's the closest one to decent on this list. So, you know. Then the fourth one was, I'm really thinking, there's two, I haven't, uh, I'm, I'm uh, recording this before I actually edit the, you know, video. But, so I'm not, I'm not sure wh where I put them in order. Is DWVR worse than, uh, Rashi Kesselson? Uh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? So, uh, yeah, the fourth place we got Rashi Castles of Sin. It's, it's kind of like, it's like the same critiques I gave on slot, but slightly worse. But, you know, you know. I already said it late, earlier in the video. I don't know what I said because I didn't, you know, edit the video yet. But, you know. So, then third place we got DWVR. It's somewhat fun, but, like, it's just not very good. It's just kind of, it's somewhat fun, somewhat boring. It's just whatever. Um, yeah. Then we got second place Deadland VR. It's weirdly kind of fun. And it's also kind of addicting, but like, eh, everything else is kind of horrendous. Then we got the worst of the worst. So technically, Retribution is technically Retribution isn't the worst VR game. Actually, I don't really think it's second worst in terms of actual game quality. But outside of that, we got some two uh, two factors. One, Retribution is a DLC and not original. It's literally just the first game again. Uh, Deadland, Deadland wasn't copying anything, probably, maybe, I don't know. If it was, then, you know, I just don't know. And second, it isn't 40 freaking dollars. Deadland VR is only a dollar. Retribution is 40 freaking dollars, so technically it's worse a game. So, uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I like the substatic save codes, but the things that suck about it, it horrendous, horrendous, horrendous. So yeah, that was uh, my rant about bad games. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I am now going to uh, go to sleep again because those games sucked. I should probably go inside.